All right, we're back with our skimmer. And it's time to make the fold lines. The skimmer, as you'll see, is a box. It has a folded edge on both sides to form a channel underneath. So we need to make those fold lines. The fold lines are half an inch from the edge of the skimmer. So we're going to take our page. The easiest way to do this is to turn it sideways. And we're going to put the zero mark on the line and then count over a half an inch. We're using a 16th scale ruler, so that means there's 16 parts per inch. So that's 8 out of the 16 parts. So we count over 8 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And on the 8th space we'll put our pencil. Again, pencil point straight up. General rotation. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, to make life a little bit easier for us, rather than trying to spin the paper around, spin the ruler around, reach over, I like to start with the zero and then just move the ruler eight sixteenths. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and the 8 sixteenths mark or one half of an inch on the corner of the skimmer. Put our pencil on the zero, stand it up, and spin. So now we should have two marks, heavy and dark, one here, one here. And let's spin this around to the other end. Exact same procedure as before. 8 sixteenths from the corners. Measure and mark. Measure and mark. Now we just need to connect our dots. So use our triangle, or if you have a nice straight edge on your ruler, you can do that. Triangles generally have straighter edges than rulers because they get a little bit less abuse here in the classroom. And a nice light line to start with, and then a nice light line. And remember, put your pencil on the mark that you measured to, slide the triangle up to the pencil. Pencil on the mark, and a nice light line. You see that I'm holding the pencil far away from the tip. I'm ha I have a nice shallow angle. Shallow angles make light lines. Steep angles, or up and down, make dark lines. Now we have our guidelines. Those going to be fold lines, and if you remember from the drawings that you have in front of you, the Fold lines are represented as dashes, so we're going to just go back and da make dashes on those lines. You can make those as dark as you want. We'll come back at the end, take our scissors, and put a score along here. A score is a light cut. And that score, or light cut, will make bending the paper really easy. You get the straightest cut, you ever, the straightest fold, not cut, the straightest fold you ever imagined out of a sheet of paper, or in this case, cardstock. And there you have it. So you see. A four inch wide, eleven inch long rectangle with two fold marks, one half an inch from the sides.